Hey, welcome back, push riders. So, um, yeah, for you beginners that are, you know, pretty good at doing the old, uh, you know, washing and polishing, waxing, and who knows, you may have even stepped up to, you know, buy yourself a little battery powered buffer like so. You're looking to improve or gain new new um, skills and one of the best ways is to service your own vehicle you know just doing lube services oil and filter and set of plugs or you know maybe you might even do a bit of light repair brake pads heater hose you know that sort of deal but where do you start with buying the necessary tools what tools do i buy do i buy the most expensive brand tool do i buy tools at the local two dollar shop do i you know all that sort of deal so this is this collection of tools you're about to see in my opinion as a good starting off point it's pretty much the meat and potatoes the basics of getting a good tool kit together so let's let's go have a bit of a look see and uh, we'll we'll go through some tools Alrighty, guys so We'll start with the socket sets, I guess. This one's only a cheapy one, Chinesium. But it's, you know, pretty much what you'll find in most socket sets. Your array of sockets, ratchet, possibly a breaker bar in the half inch drive stuff, but most likely not extensions and this one also come with a spark plug socket which is pretty cool but and then we step down to your 38 drive and your quarter drive most likely on a good probably oh, I'd have to say about 90% of your jobs 95% of your jobs you'll end up using your 38 drive and your half inch drive, 3 8 drive more so. Quarter drive is more for, say, something like uh, interior jobs, you know, like getting up underneath a dashboard or something like that. Now, as you can see, that's half inch drive, 3 8 and quarter. Then we move on to our spanners. These are just ring open end or combination spanners. So hence, open end, ring. Now, probably a tip that I could probably say to you guys is if you're predominantly working on later model stuff, like, you know, in the last 20 years, 30 years or something, it's most likely going to be metric. So I would probably tend to steer towards buying a metric set of spanners, metric set of a socket set. Just sort of saves the hassle down the down the track. Then when you want to, you know, dive into the older stuff like old bouncing Betty there, which is 1966, that's all Imperial. So then, you know, go out and buy your Imperial socket set and spanner set and so on. Uh, speaking of sockets, Spark plug sockets. Now there are quite a few different sizes. Uh, what are these? This is uh, Imperial, so it's 5.8 and 1316. Pretty sure you can get uh, metric plug sockets as well, so just whatever suits your vehicle. And if it's petrol, of course, not diesel or gas. Next up, reasonable set of screwdrivers, Phillips flat blade. Then you'd be wanting to get that oil filter off so there's heaps and heaps of different oil filter tools you've got your your band type there there's your uh, adjustable pliers style ones there's ones that look like um looks like they use seat belt uh material and in a little mandrel or whatever you want to call it and just use a, a uh, ratchet uh, there's even other ones that use a ratchet but they've got like three little sort of you know claws and as they twist around they grab on the filter they can be as cheap as you know 
five or ten bucks or whatever they are right up to really expensive ones so it's whatever suits your budget probably another good thing to have in your starter toolkit would be a reasonable ball peen hammer or engineer's hammer rubber mallet and if you've got some real rusty scabby sort of looking bolts you know a reasonable wide brush as well they're always handy to have so where do we go find our tools well, there's heaps of different places selling tools again we can go to our big uh, hardware stores like Bunnings or you know the big box stores over in the States um, any of the automotive style stores like super cheap uh, Autobahn Burson's Repco they you know they got deals and all that sort of thing uh, well, if you don't have a great deal of cash to spend which is you know hey that's cool my pick is for new tools you can get a pretty comprehensive little kits going from super cheap auto uh, have a look on their website now this isn't a paid endorsement or anything like that the reason why i mention them because i've had good luck and good value out of the tools that i've brought as if you go back uh i don't know quite a few videos You'll see I did a little um, review on their little battery tools, little uh, 3 8 little uh, battery gun and ratchet. Failing that, there's always good old Marketplace, uh, eBay, uh, other places like Wish, although most of that sort of stuff's Chinesium. So I don't know how good it will be, but hey, if it's in your budget and that's all you can afford, well, it's all you can afford. If you can hang out for a while, like waiting, uh, swap meets are a good are a good place to go find tools. Uh, there's a lot of uh, like Chinesey tool vendors there, as in Chinese in tools. Uh, there's also quite a lot of second-hand tools that the vendors are selling there and quite a lot of them are still pretty good quality they're just old tools that they don't need anymore uh, garage sales uh, what else even just put the word out to friends you know they may have something in their shed that they don't want anymore and they, you know so you might even okay here you go here's half a dozen spanners or whatever so next is what do you put it all in do you put it in a bucket or a milk crate or you know do we go get a toolbox or you know what size toolbox do i need a condominium size toolbox where i can you know hide from the missus and watch porn whatever look it all depends on again your budget you can start off with something like a little toolbox like this Build it up to a little cantilever toolbox. Uh, the little intermediate box that this is sitting on, that was $60 from the King Chrome Tool Outlet. Actually, there's, there's another place you'd go to, like the tool outlets. I mean, scratch and dip. You get so many dollars off and you've got pretty much a brand new box. So, uh, yeah, look, it's depend on your price pretty much and look at swap meets you can go find a a nice little cantilever toolbox to fit most of those tools in the worst comes to the worst you know like you can go to like one of those Chinese like cheap tool places and buy a toolbox like yeah they might not last as long as something like this but at the end of the day you've got a toolbox and if you look after it it'll look after you and your tools for that matter uh, Oh, look, cool. you know, like even a little tool caddy, little tool trolley like this with a couple of shelves in it. That was, I think, $90 or 100 bucks or something like that. But um, again, it's dependent on your, on your budget. Let's get into the honourable mentions. 
Alrighty, so I guess a bit of PPE or personal protection or bloody whatever. You know, safety glasses, a bit of ear protection. When you go looking for earmuffs, read the packaging because they're all rated at different decibel, noise levels and all that sort of stuff. So bear that in mind. While you're doing a service... And letting the engine uh, the engine oil drain you know you want to check all the suspension bushes and stuff so a good pry bar also a good work light now it doesn't have to be an expensive one it can just be a little battery torch whatever but definitely one to have now uh, torques uh, keys I mean you can get torx bits there are some European cars like Volvo that have a cartridge style oil filter where you, it's got a Torx bits bolt that holds the, the housing together for the lack of a better word. That's them. Allen keys. Yep. It's pretty self-explanatory. Again, with both of these, it's uh, metric, imperial, you know, all that sort of deal by what's applicable to you and your vehicle. Uh, I guess we'll get on to a few lubes. Uh, while this isn't a lube, hand cleaner. A really good hand cleaner that doesn't dry out your hands. Worthwhile having electrical contact cleaner. Therefore, your little electrical plugs and all that sort of thing. Like quite a few breakdowns are just dirt and crap, or you know, crappy electrical connections. It even might have that white fuzz or whatever over it. So there's that. I mean, they're only cheap. Good penetrating oil. Bit of WD-40 or whatever you can get your hands on. It's always good to have. And some just cheap degreaser. I mean, this is only three dollars a can or something like that, so not too expensive. As we get a bit more into it, a cold chisel and punch set. These are only cheapies, but you know. And last but not least, files, metal files to be exact. Now this is a pretty expensive set, I think this was what, about 60 odd dollars or something, but I mean even if you just get a coarse and a fine flat file for the time being. Alrighty push riders, so that's pretty much my take on, you know, like just the bread and butter part of your, getting a toolkit started, what, what you're going to need just for doing general lube services and small light repair like i said you know brake pads that sort of thing uh one other thing i could probably say if it fits in your budget try and buy a workshop manual for your vehicle whether it be a haynes manual or even the factory manual if you can get your hands on one always good to have anyway what are you waiting for go get your hands dirty i'll see you next video so tools, and not this one in front of the camera. Cut.